Hi there folks, in today's session I'm going to talk about agent flows. So this is a new concept that's been introduced into Copilot Studio and obviously I have a passion for cloud flows and Power Automate and I talk about how you can build the most efficient flows possible and for me this is quite an exciting time because agent flows brings into the Power Platform stack a new licensing model all based on Copilot Studio, which is based on message consumption. So traditionally, when you build a flow, you need to have a user license. And that user license, if it's a seeded license, like an E3 or E5, it gives you access to standard connectors. So if you want to send an email or send a Teams message, you can do that as part of your license. That's all part of Cloud Flows. But if you want to do something with premium connectivity, like you want to populate a Word document, for instance, or do something in Dataverse, then of course you need to have a premium license and that comes in as an additional cost and is sometimes a blocker for automations. Now with agent flows, we don't have that concept. There is not a standard or a premium connector. You're charged based on the number of API calls. Now, if you have watched some of my videos in the past, I'm very passionate about API calls and the number of API calls within a flow and building flows efficiently. Agent flows now charge you per API call. So it's going to be 13 cents for every 100 API calls. Now, if you imagine a complex flow that is looping through lots of data, maybe you've got 100 records, you want to loop through that data and you want to add a row into a, an Excel file, for instance, and maybe you want to send an email. So there are two actions within that apply to each loop. So that's two API calls, but you've got 100 records. You now have 200 API calls, which means that's going to cost 26 cents because it's 13 cents for every 100 API calls. Now, if you were going down the route of a cloud flow, of course, it's based on a user license. You pay for the month and you get a number of API calls in a 24-hour sliding period. Still with me? Maybe not, but it's a completely different model. Very exciting because not only are the premium connectivity available as part of agent flows, you also have access to AI Builder, which is quite often a blocker again because you have to have separate AI Builder credits if you're building a cloud flow with AI, such as prompts or some of the machine learning models like extracting data from invoicing. Over on agent flows, you're charged for messages. So depending on the model that you're using, if it's a basic model or a premium model, you're charged a number of messages. And then if we jump across onto this message rates table on Microsoft Learn, you can see that agent flows are 13 messages per 100 actions, as I've described, but also we have access to those AI tools primarily AI prompts, depending on the model, you've got the basic standard or premium, and per 10 responses, you're either charged one message, 50 messages, or 100 messages. So for me, this removes the barrier of having to have separate licensing for your premium capability for premium connectors, but also custom connectors too, very exciting if you've got a third-party API you want to connect to, and you have access to the AI builder tools based on this message rate consumption table. So if we jump across into Copilot Studio, we're going to build an agent flow. Now you can do that using one or two methods, either by describing it like so, or building a new agent flow and choosing your trigger and your actions. Because I'm going to build both an agent flow and a cloud flow, and then show you the similarities or indeed the differences, I'm going to use the description and let Copilot build out a very similar flow for both. So this is based on a button trigger. It's going to list the rows, and then for each of those rows, it's going to loop through and play out three different actions. Now, if we think about the agent flow model, it's all based on message consumption. So this particular flow is ideal to understand that if we had 100 records in our first list rows, and then we're applying to each three actions, that's three times 100, which means 300 API calls, which means three times 13 messages, which is 39 messages or 39 cents if we're talking about real money. If I keep this and create the flow, we can see the new designer experience over in Agent Builder. It's very similar to Cloud Flows. There is additional functionality that is available only in Agent Flows, such as an advanced approvals 
and I suspect there'll be additional capability that will come into agent flows as time comes by. But the fact that the flows, agent flows, are nicely integrated into Copilot Studio, you can call them directly from your agents. If we were to change this trigger, for instance, if I right click, delete, and then add a trigger, we can replace it with when an agent calls a flow, this flow can now be called directly from within an agent. And of course, it's an agent flow and therefore it's licensed on messages. That aside, if I save this particular flow, you'll see that I was able to save a draft. And this is a capability that is only available with flows that have been created as part of a solution. If you don't know what a solution is, of course I have a video and I have a lovely prop, a box, an open box for unmanaged solutions, a closed box for managed solutions. I suggest you go and watch that. We still get solutions in cloud flows, but by default, the experience is personal flows. And you'll note that I don't have access to draft publishing, but also version history. Again, a capability that we have by default in agent flows because our flow is solution aware. Now, of course, I love flows. This particular hashtag is all about water flows rather than cloud flows. And I'm here to support Mr. Beast, who's looking to raise 40 million US dollars to ensure that everyone in the world has access to clean water. So if you'd love to support the cause, please make sure you check out the description and we'll get back to the video. Now, if I jump across onto make.powerautomate.com and I go to my flows, we can see that I have that flow that I've just created via Copilot Studio. And if I click on it, this is where I want you to pay particular attention. We're over on the details pane and we have a plan and that particular plan is Copilot Studio. So whilst we will be able to access both agent and cloud flows via make.powerautomate.com, any flow that is licensed via the Copilot Studio consumption plan will have this Copilot Studio plan and you can convert a cloud flow to an agent flow. Once it's converted to an agent flow, it will of course be visible over on Copilot Studio under the Flows tab. Now, if I go back home and paste in that same description and generate a flow, we'll see exactly the same proposed flow here based on a manual button trigger and the list rows and for each loop. But because this is now a cloud flow, it's not licensed on API consumption. It is licensed on a user license. And because this particular flow has premium connectivity in the form of Dataverse, we now need to think about having a process license or a premium license that we'd have to pay in addition to our seeded license. If I keep this and create the flow, again, a very familiar interface. This is the new designer. Of course, you can toggle back to the classic, but we all love the new designer, don't we? And you can then save it. But of course, I can't save a draft and I can't publish it because it's a personal flow. Now, if I go ahead and save this flow, I can jump back onto the details pane. And if we have a look at the plan on the details, we can see the plan is based on the user who runs the flow. Now this plan changes depending on whether it's an instant or an automated or a recurrence indeed. But the important thing to note is it's based on user licensing because it's a cloud flow. Now this flow won't appear over on agent flows. You'll note it's got a diamond next to it. And that means it's a premium flow and therefore I need to worry about the additional licensing for that user license, the process or the premium. So what if I wanted this flow to be an agent flow? I could come into edit and I could change the plan. You'll see now we've got a Copilot Studio plan and if I hover over this, it consumes Copilot Studio capacity. We've seen that on the agent flow that I built via Copilot Studio, but it's grayed out. The reason for that is this particular flow has been built as a personal flow. And therefore I need to convert it into a solution aware flow. So let's go ahead and do that. So for ease of discovery, I'm going to rename this flow to my original cloud flow and save that. And we can see the names updated there along the top. And then if I go across into solutions, conveniently I've created a new solution called Copilot Studio Agent Flows. And if I jump into that solution, we can see there are no objects, but of course I'm going to add an existing object. I'm going to go into automation, cloud flow. If my flow was already a solution aware flow, I could choose it from Dataverse because it's not a solution aware flow. 
I go to Outside Dataverse, and we can see my original cloud flow, which I can add. This will convert my personal flow into a solution aware flow, which will then enable me to convert that solution aware cloud flow into a solution aware agent flow, which will then affect the licensing plan. So with my flow now converted, if I go and select that original flow, down on the right hand side, we can see that it's now a solution aware flow. If I go into edit, we now have that capability for saving and testing and publishing and versioning because, of course, this is now a solution aware flow. But back over on the details pane, when I go into edit, you'll see that we now have access to that Copilot Studio plan. If I select that, but just before I save it, if I jump back across into Copilot Studio, we can see the three flows I have, including the one that I built earlier. Back over on my cloud flow, if I hit save and confirm, I can't change this back, remember, once this becomes an agent flow, it is an agent flow and you'd have to rebuild that flow as a cloud flow if you wanted it to license as a cloud flow. But now the plan is based on Copilot Studio. And if I jump back onto Copilot Studio after a quick refresh, we can see my original cloud flow is now an agent flow and I can use Copilot Studio to manage that flow, build it, edit it, etc. see the run history, it is now officially an agent flow based on message consumption.